Welcome to another episode of Help I Can't Cook. So today's video, you will not see my face, but what I have is some jerk chicken that I smoked. Um, as you can see, I had a few pieces left over and so I am going to be deboning the chicken and then I'm going to chop it up and we're going to do a jerk chicken fettuccine uh, Alfredo pasta. So I'm going to be removing the skin and shout out to uh, my good friend and brother Adrian. Adrian Cooking and Food Review, shout out to him. The reason behind this recipe, it is inspired by something that he did. Um, he's always using the Walker, the Walker uh, jerk seasoning. We're just going to be deboning, chopping, and then we're going to get started on the Alfredo sauce. But I will be using some of the juices in the, uh, in the bottom of the pan just for um, the added seasoning. And I'm just going to start just cutting the meat. So I hope you all are well. I am feeling much better. Now this chicken smells so good. Um, I just, I, I, I could really bite a piece, but I won't. The proper way to, to debone this chicken is either boil it until it's off the bone or take a boning knife and uh, just cut the bone out. But I just got done washing dishes and uh, I am not a bit about to be messing up uh, more dishes, more than I have to anyway. One knife is good and my fingers will work. <laughs> Bitch, I say that girl crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little throw sometimes. It's all good. Y'all, we're going to make ourselves some sauce. I'm trying to know about how to make that Fredo sauce. Normally, when I make it, I make enough to store away. But I think, well, I don't think I know that I have used all my resource bags. So... It's all good though. Y'all see, that's, that's, that's a good amount of meat. That's a really good amount of meat. And so, there's our meat. Okay guys, so my water is boiling really good. I have some kosher salt that I am going to pour in. And I am going to add my pasta noodle. So, we have linguine. What I have in my pan is a stick of butter minus two tablespoons because I have these and this is basil um, pesto. This is a tablespoon and I have two of those. So all in all, it's one whole stick of butter. That's the what the amount equals. And so, we are going to let that melt. I like a lot of garlic. I'm going to, see that's my garlic. It's it's not actually minced, but it's more chopped. Total, that's going to be about two tablespoons of, of garlic. No garlic left behind. No garlic left behind. I have a wooden spoon that I'm just going to stir this with. And I have my oven for my burner on four. And as you can see how that's coming together, it's it's green, looks green because of the pesto. Let's see, Let's see that? But it smells divine. And so we're just going to get this butter. We don't want the butter to burn uh, or brown. And we don't want the garlic to, to burn. So that's about that's about melted. 
and then you will need two to two and a half cups of heavy cream. So we're just going to pour that in here. Yeah. Okay, guys. So my Alfredo has come to a nice simmer, and now I now listen. If you want the bomb.com sauce, don't use this powder. This is what I have today. But if you want really, really authentic and really delicious now this is going to be delicious don't get me wrong but if you have um fresh uh parmesan parmesan cheese that you grade yourself it makes it kicks the flavor up like 10 times 10 times better fresh freshly shredded parmesan will do this dish some justice so over here in this pot, I have my noodles and the jerk chicken that we cubed earlier. And so what I'm about to do now that the palm cheese is incorporated in the sauce, I'm going to turn my burner down to low and I'm going to place the lid on it for about two to three minutes and let it thicken up and then we'll come back and see what it's looking like. Okay guys, so here is the finished sauce. It's been, <clears throat> it's been about three minutes and I'm just whisking it a little bit cause I want you guys, I want to make sure that I got all of the, uh, that goodness at the bottom. Uh, maybe some cheese got stuck, but see how, how simple was that? you can make a great hearty meal at home and not spend a whole bunch of money. I repurposed my jerk chicken. I'm sure we all have some type of pasta in our pantry. Use what you have. This is hearty, um, it will stretch, and it will have my family full for the night. Hope you all enjoy this video. Um, if you try it, don't forget to comment and let me know that you tried it and how you liked it. If you added or if you if you took away anything, I want to hear about it. Okay, guys. So <clears throat> here we go. Here is the finished pasta. Um, again, this is um, jerk chicken Alfredo, and I just went ahead and sprinkled a little bit of basil over the top just to give it a little bit of color my sauce was a uh, homemade alfredo very simple recipe um and of course this is linguine pasta um and then i repurposed some smoked jerk chicken and dinner is served so guys here are all the seasonings that i use today um salt black pepper the jerk seasoning and that's the walker uh, walker's wood and i put this on my chicken <clears throat> when i smoked it so i didn't use any extra of this today but the chicken that i smoked did have jerk seasoning here's my parmesan cheese and remember if you can get a hold of fresh parmesan and grate it yourself that would be perfect heavy cream basil garlic powder garlic and linguine and i also <clears throat> it's empty now but i used a half a cup of the pasta water guys pasta water does a whole bunch for the flavoring for your your sauce if you're doing red sauce if you're doing alfredo sauce i don't care what sauce i'm making if i'm making pasta i always reserve some of my pasta water so that's just a tip. Um, anyway, if you don't forget to let me know if you try this recipe and let me know how you liked it. Until next time.